Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining my channel today. And if you have not already, please do not forget to like and subscribe. If you want to keep seeing videos on tech, just like this one. So today I actually have a video on the Galaxy Book Experience. This is an app that basically houses all of the integrations and features that you will get exclusively on a Samsung Galaxy Book. And it also houses everything that will integrate directly with your Samsung smartphone. Like I have the S22 Ultra right here. So I'm going to go through all of the features and integrations on this app. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Not going to hold you any longer. Let's just hop into this video. I'm about to be on Been on this mission since I first left home Back up my bags like nigga, I'm grown Told myself to show myself to do no wrongs Like, I'm about to be on Been on this mission since I first left home Back up my bags like nigga, I'm grown so let's just hop into the Galaxy Book Experience app now. So uh, again, this is just a hub for everything in regards to like your Galaxy Book. This is where all of your Galaxy exclusive um, futures and integrations will be held. Um, you can easily find this app just by searching it um, here in your app drawer or just like going by the apps and finding Galaxy Book Experience there. And um, it's very easy to find. So uh, let's get into it. Um, these first two buttons right here, uh, this one and this one, uh, this is just uh, signing in with your Samsung account. I highly suggest doing that because it just makes a lot of things easier, um, especially if you have another Samsung device. It just makes those integrations that much smoother. Um, and um, right here next to that, uh, you get all of your Galaxy Book utilities. These are like some of the more intricate uh, features. So you get your Samsung settings. Uh, these are the exclusive Samsung settings um, on your Galaxy Book. Um, I went through this in a previous video. Um, feel free to check that video out. Uh, you get your Samsung recovery. Uh, these are going to be like some of your um, like more in depth like recovery options, like uh, doing a factory reset or any kind of file backup or um, creating like a disk copy of something. Uh, that is where what all of that is. Um, Samsung device care. Uh, this is just like a hub for your um, like the overall health of your device. So you get like a history of like all of your backups as well as you could like clean your storage and clear out temporary files and clear out trash and duplicate files and things like that just to make sure your device is up and running properly. Uh, the Samsung security settings are actually really um, interesting. I'm not sure if these are like exclusive to uh, Samsung, uh, but there are some really nice settings in here. Um, the privacy folder, you can um, set up like a privacy folder so that you can um, uh, just send files there um, so that no one else can access them. Uh, you also have a secret screen option so that uh, the screen will be tinted a little bit so that it's harder for people around you to see your screen. So I thought that was really interesting. Uh, you have a block recording option. Um, un unauthorized recordings, wiretaps, or monitoring are blocked by preventing the use of the camera and microphone. And then you get a security camera option. So if you walk away from your computer for a second and someone else tries to log in and the camera recognizes that it's not you, it will take a quick snapshot and send it to your email automatically. So yeah, all of these settings are um, extremely useful in my opinion. These are some really solid utilities. And this last option is just a Samsung customer service portal. So next we're going to talk about the Samsung Notes app. Uh, it's really cool how this can sync easily with the uh, Samsung Notes app on your phone, especially if you have a Samsung device. I don't know if Samsung Notes is compatible with other Androids, but on Samsung devices, uh, Samsung Notes is like the default Notes app. So pretty much everything that you put in uh, syncs over to the Notes app on your computer. So I actually did like a lot of this typing like on my phone and it's able to sync over directly. Um, I don't use Samsung Notes personally. I use Google Keep just because I like the UI of that better. But um, it's pretty nice to have all of this sync over. And you could actually like import uh, PDF documents over from your computer and um, it will be able to just be loaded in Samsung Notes. So I think that's really useful. So next we're going to talk about Bixby. Um, Bixby is uh, very useful. Um, basically like a voice assistant. Um, I don't know if you can get Google Assistant on a Windows laptop, never really tried it, but um, you can access it a few ways. You could open the Bixby app um, by searching like from your start menu and um, you could just like do everything from here and um, or you could just like click on one of these options up here or um, I believe you could say hi Bixby. 
What's the weather today? Degrees and a low of 52 degrees. So as you can see, that worked fine. Um, and then there is a like quick Bixby button on the utility bar as well. I didn't understand. What's the weather tomorrow? So yeah, Bixby works pretty fast. Uh, multiple ways to access it. Uh, tons of features. I'm not too familiar with Bixby, but I know she will get all of the basic things done. So now we're going to talk about the live wallpaper app. I believe this is a Samsung app. Uh, basically, you just get a ton of different um, wallpaper groups to like choose from to display on your computer. I'm just going to wait for that to load. And there we go. Um, so my personal favorite is this abstract one right here. So you get animated wallpapers, wallpapers, and dynamic wallpapers. Uh, my favorite is just these normal um, wallpapers right here. And you can only apply as a group, it looks like. You can't do it like one by one for some reason. Um, you only get the option to like hide certain ones from the group. But um, yeah, um, very nice wallpapers. So you also get the option to transfer data from your old computer using the Galaxy Book Smart Switch. You do have to have the app installed on both and then it should give you like a pretty seamless switch. I don't need to do that because I did not have a Galaxy Book before. So next is this uh, second screen option. Uh, this is an option if you have a uh, Samsung tablet. I do not, so I cannot um, extend this to like my phone or anything. If you have a Samsung tablet, you'll be, you'll be able to use that as a second display in extended or mirrored mode. So next we're going to talk about quick search. It's basically a way to just like search all of the files um, on your computer. So it looks like it searches. Let's see. So it searches files, folders, or document and image content. So let me just put in OBS. You can see my OBS files pop up automatically. And anytime it shows like OBS and any other file, it will pull that up as well. You can see it searching now. Okay, so the next one that we're going to talk about is the Samsung File Tracker. Uh, so this is a really interesting app. Um, let me open it up. So basically, you can just like... Uh, search different files that are stored on your computer it's mainly like a search engine for files and you can add tags to like certain files and like once you uh, find the file you want you can open it or you can like open the file location in which it's located and i have no idea why there's like calendar integration in this app as well because it's like a file app um i thought that was really weird but um if you want to like play with it you can sync um, other uh, calendars like uh, Google Calendar here. So yeah, um, really interesting app. So now we're going to talk about the Samsung Gallery app. Um, I actually could not get this one to work properly. So um, you're supposed to be able to like sync this to your uh, Samsung phone. So whatever photos or videos you take and are saved on your phone's gallery app it should show up here but uh, when i went to settings and tried to turn this on it wouldn't let me it told me to go to my phone and do it through onedrive i could not find the onedrive sync option and then um i could not find an app on the play store called samsung cloud it might be in good luck or something i don't know or the sam not good luck the samsung store but um i just haven't played with it enough don't really like need that functionality but essentially You'll be able to sync your phone's gallery app to your computer's gallery app. You'll be able to drag like whatever photos or videos here directly to your Windows files. So, um, yeah, that's what this Samsung gallery app should do. Okay, so I don't really have any Samsung appliances or things like that around the house. So that is what this uh, smart things application should do. Um, just basically be able to, to monitor and control your different Samsung um, appliances, such as like their uh, washers or dryers or um, purifiers, uh, things of that nature. Um, I don't have any of that personally, so um, I won't be able to use this part of the Galaxy Book experience. Okay, so now we're going to go over Samsung Flow. So this app was pretty popular before the Windows Phone Link app came out. Um, basically, you could do a lot of things that you could do on Windows Phone Link. I think Phone Link is better personally. We're going to go over that in a little bit later. But um, yeah, this is Samsung Flow. So um, as you can see, I'm connected. So you could do things such as like viewing your notifications. You can't really edit notifications or reply to notifications, I don't think, from here. 
um you get a clipboard you can sync the clipboard on your um on your computer over to the clipboard on your phone so if you like copy and paste something on your phone you could drag it over to your computer this way um and you get a smart view uh, so this is really interesting as you can see it just like opened up everything on my phone and then you could like scroll through the ui of your phone with um your mouse so very similar to uh, phone leak might be a little faster than phone leak not really sure but um yeah very useful and then finally you get the uh, mobile hotspot so uh, this is the way that you would connect to your phone's uh, mobile hotspot so next we're going to talk about the samsung screen recorder app um, it's actually really basic um, but i cannot um, pull it up right now since i'm actually like screen recording my screen so it won't let me like show the ui of the screen recorder app while i do that so um, it's really nice so you could actually screen record or screen capture a screen capture is basically like a screenshot of your screen um, you could show your face if you'd like and you could switch whatever camera you want like i could switch to my uh, sony camera if i wanted to instead of using the laptop webcam you could also um like draw on it like while you're recording or after you record um and yeah you can even change your audio settings um if that's something you want to do so uh yeah the samsung screen recording app is actually really good um i use it a lot for work um just for, for like tutorials and things like that so um yeah it's extremely useful okay so i'm gonna skip over the samsung settings because i've went over that plenty of times before we're gonna go straight to the samsung studio plus app so the studio plus app is very basic i would use it mainly for like things with like short clips or uh pictures just to make a slideshow or a short video something like that um it's a very basic video editor nothing too crazy you can add things like in between each clip uh these are some sample clips that they provided but um you could add like more image or video clips you could add a blank clip even or you could just add a screen recording in between two clips so um that's really nice um you could also add music or you can add narration so you could like record your voice over a clip so yeah all of those features are really nice um you could change a theme if you'd like to lots of different themes in here you could change the ratio and uh that's about it um nothing really too crazy about this app again i would use it personally for just like short projects short clips and uh things like that not really even um any settings you could just change from white to dark mode so yeah uh, that's the samsung studio plus app okay so now quickly i'm just gonna say um i don't have any galaxy buds so i can't walk you through how the quick connect works but from my understanding it's basically just like a seamless connection between galaxy buds and your galaxy book so whenever you pull those out they will pair with your galaxy book fairly quickly so what i do have set up is the your phone app so uh windows did just recently rebrand this to phone link so uh, let me open that up and yeah um, it's an extremely functional app it's basically being able to access everything from your phone on your computer um, I prefer Samsung Dex over this I'll probably be doing a video very recently I did do a full video on phone link so you could check that out on the channel if you're interested in that um, but yeah um, you get a ton of functionality you could uh, look at your text messages you could uh, look at your recent phone calls and even make phone calls um, like using your computer like an IP phone uh, with an internet connection so that's really nice and um, you get a ton of functionality in this app section so I'm going to show you so uh, let me just open up instagram yep you can open that up fine and let me open up bleacher report you can open that up fine and let me open up anchor I open that up fine so let me open all three at once so look at this functionality i could just scroll instagram if i wanted to or i could scroll bleacher report if i wanted to all on the same screen all separate apps all separate windows so that's really nice and another thing you could do is just directly just mirror your screen by pressing this open phone screen button so basically the ui of your phone is now on your computer that's really nice let me swipe to the left look at my google feed sw scroll down a bit 
Yeah, a ton of functionality in this app section can be extremely useful for multitasking if you don't want to pick up your phone. Um, I also really like the notification system here. Um, you can look at all of your phone's notifications and you will receive these notifications like right here uh, in your Windows notifications as well. And another cool thing is that you can actually respond to these notifications um, all from there. So yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about private share and quick share. So private share, I actually don't use it like at all. Um, actually, um, I have not used it yet, but I do see why this would be extremely helpful. Um, so basically what it is, is you're sending like a super encrypted file over to someone else. And when they receive that file, they cannot screenshot it or they cannot share it or send it to anyone else. You could even set like an expiration date so the person can only access it so long. So I feel like that's extremely helpful and I feel like more companies should implement that with uh, their devices. But um, quick share, I use this a ton, um, especially as a content creator. Um, I quick share a lot of videos over to my phone for like quick edits and things like that. Um, it's very seamless. Um, I do have experience with Apple AirDrop and I feel like this is more seamless because once you sign up like with your Samsung account on both your um, quick share on your laptop and on your phone, you don't get like any like confirmation or anything. You just it just goes. Um, so let me just pull open like a video video file let's open and uh, it's already sending let's see and you can see on my phone it's already going over you see that bar going over super quick so finally we got alexa so i feel like this alexa app could probably be downloaded for any windows computer it just looks like it doesn't look like it's samsung exclusive or anything but um yeah it looks like an extremely uh, nice app um gives you like all of the tips for like each of these sections and you do get an alexa button so you could just talk to alexa um um, I do believe Alexa has like better functionality than Bixby uh, in my personal opinion and experiences. Uh, let me just press it now. What's the weather tomorrow? Here's the forecast. Okay, so as you can see, that was really fast. Um, yeah, Alexa should be useful as well. I would definitely use this over Bixby. Okay guys, so that is it with the Galaxy experience. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, went tried to go as deep as I can in each of these subjects, um, but still keeping the video at a reasonable length. So if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. My personal favorite of these is definitely QuickShare. Um, as a content creator, being able to just drag and drop files into my phone is extremely clutch. And um, another thing that was not like highlighted in this, I really think they should have put Samsung Dex in this section because Dex does have like a Windows app, um, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, um, Dex is probably my favorite feature of Samsung phones now. Um, very useful. Um, we'll probably do a video pretty soon comparing Dex to the uh, phone link app from Windows. So yeah, if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching this video.